Hey everybody, welcome to my corner of the universe. I'm here with my son Hayden, and this is our tribute behind us to Labor Day weekend. Yes, that is a flag. We don't know where we got it. Garage sale something. It's obscure, but it's our salute to the men and women of the armed forces of the United States of America, and our little tribute to Labor Day. Um, I'm not going to go into great history about Labor Day. You guys already know the history. Don't worry about it. Our tribute today comes in the form of an MRE. Men and women of the United States Army, military, Air Force, Navy, Marines, whatever, eat MREs. And this one I have is Asian style beef strips with vegetables, menu 22. And even though the MREs may come in the same box or bag, they look different. But both of these are made in Evansville, Indiana. Now, they do have other MREs. This is a tailored operational training meal, or as we call, a totem. And this particular meal is for, like, somebody, let's say, they're doing a half-a-day project. They're going to a residue yard to turn in expended brass. Or they're going downrange to side in weapons. My light keeps flickering in my dining room. We don't know why. Just go with it. <laughs> and so... Um, these meals are designed for um, just a simple meal and as you can see it's really thin it comes with this one has crackers it has the applesauce it even has M&Ms on the side if you can see and the main entree with this one is a creamy spinach fettuccine just wanted to tell you there's different kinds of MREs out there each US military MRE is usually designed for about 3500 calories that's these bad boys right here. There are some countries like Slovenia, Croatia, Russia, other countries give you like three meals for that whole day. The United States doesn't do that. It just gives you one big old meal with 3,500 calories and say, keep on rolling. So that's what we're gonna do. And I've decided to stay with this and you're gonna eat that? Yeah. Um, do you want to heat it up with the MRE heater? Or do you want to eat it cold? It's up to you. I'll heat it. We'll heat, it up. Years ago, we'll heat it up. We'll show you how. I do not recommend doing this inside. But we have a window open here for ventilation. And you're supposed to pull this from the top. That's how it's designed. Well, I tried opening it up from the side. And it does open up pretty good. So we're going to throw that bag out of the way. Then you have your whole little dealio right there. Kind of neato. I do hang on to these bags. I use them for other projects. <coughs> I have no idea. Oh, bless you. Ow. What? <laughs> so bless you. I sneeze. thought it was a sneeze. It doesn't matter. So this is the main entree. The Asian style beef strips, right? Oh, and it comes with fried rice. Oh, man. And the fried rice is here. Okay. Each pack comes with... Um... Now, my particular pack comes with a moist toilet, useless toilet paper. I'm telling you, see the size of that toilet paper? There's like four or five squares there. That's not you enough want, to clean. You want to take it that's out not enough. Or... That's not enough to clean <laughs> nothing. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you guys, okay? And this Look, is the heater. This is the beverage raspberry. I hate raspberry, but I'll try it just for you guys. Now, there's been speculation his gum and his packet may be orange or or no, white or or red. There's been speculation that the gum in red is cinnamon or caffeinated. In the military, we just call it diarrhea gum. You eat it, you get diarrhea. I got iodized salt. Yep, there it is. A moist towelette. Yummy. <laughs> this is the military's version of toilet paper. Um, now, this, I normally don't open up these little packets. I have an entire backpack. Uh, I've had like six or seven cases of MREs from the military in the last year alone. Um, I'm unfolding the toilet paper now. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. There's maybe like 10 or 20 squares here. Wasn't he, That's was really that not a lot to ones, wipe your hiney with. Yeah, these are kind of the new ones. So let's dig into here and see what I got as a snack in mine. Because one of the old ones we opened, you know, it was like... I got Tootsie Rolls. Three of them. Tootsie, what? Tootsie Rolls. Seriously? And I'm not joking, you guys. Look, I'm going to tear this open. 
This isn't raisin mix. This isn't the generic Tootsie <laughs> Rolls. This is the real deal. Tootsie Rolls. I, got, I don't even uh, eat Tootsie Rolls. Peanut butter. Um, reason I have so many cases of MREs, I have chunky style peanut butter. Oh, I Yo. got regular peanut butter. Chunky, chunky. Uh, <laughs> these things really, um, you know, uh, him and his brother got into a few of the other cases. They said, Dad, can I have one? Sure, go ahead. If we don't have enough in the house, we'll eat one. Or if we're in a car, we go on a backpacking trip, or we're oh. just don't want to spend money and buy lunch, we'll, us guys will eat an MRE. Pepper sauce. It used to be Tabasco. Right? It used to be a little bottle of Tabasco, but just different ones give you different kinds. Yeah. So, let's see. What else I got in mind? A cocoa beverage powder. I really don't feel like eating drinking cocoa on a hot Labor Day for you folks, but that actually is cocoa. It's hot cocoa? It's hot cocoa. What you do is you tear this open, you fill it up to the line, shake it, and, and there's cocoa. Like this? No, you just pour hot water in here and it's cocoa. Uh, so, um, what else do I got? Yeah, I have uh, wheat something. snack bread. Oh, that's gross. I tried that stuff. I didn't like you it. can actually put the peanut butter and I got blackberry jam. I might try the jam on the bread. I don't know. I got crackers. Of course, the spoon. What did you get? Uh, carbohydrate electric beverage powder grape flavor, which is basically just grape Gatorade. Um, I got crackers, nut raisin mix, and what was this one? I didn't see. Chocolate pudding dessert powder. Oh, chocolate pudding. That's actually, actually pretty good. What you do is you read the directions. Um... You know, you add four ounces of water, about a sixth of a, sixth of a canteen cup into the, into the pouch, fold over the top, firmly hold the top of the pouch, shake for 60 seconds, finish stirring with a spoon, and consume within one hour. This makes chocolate pudding. It's actually, no more of the long days of making ranger pudding. You can actually make your own pudding. So you wanted to do these? Yeah, we can actually do these. Now, these are kind of, we're using the flameless heater, the MRE flameless heater. And one thing I learned about in a hazmat class is um, if you travel with an MRE, let's say you're a soldier, you're going home, if you leave everything in this package unopened, according to F FA regulations, it's okay to fly with. I wouldn't suggest taking it on your uh, carry-on bag, but maybe use your bag as you check in. Uh, that's fine because, you know, the carry-on bag, um, I've been around and I've seen guys take these little Ziploc bags. This is a bag for your, your hot beverage for cocoa. What you do is you, or like for your coffee, you will pour the hot water in here. And then you pour all the fixings, you zip it up and you can drink it. I have seen guys that take uh, the MRE heater. You can take this actual piece out of here. I wouldn't suggest doing it. Uh, but they, they make their own... Um, Explosives. Yeah, they, they, it's, it's, it, it's not. It doesn't harm you guys. Okay, please don't do this. There's your PSA warning. I did not recommend doing this, uh, but they will do this, and the bag will spell expel. Gases will build up if it's zipped up, and boom, it'll pop. So yeah, there goes the light again. And there goes our light. We're haunted here. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Spirits so, don't want us to eat this MREs. We just open it up like this. That little tear. Yeah, you open up the little tear right there. You open it up. Now, what you can do, your, uh, your, you get a little cardboard to slide your stuff in to hold it when it's hot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put <coughs> I'm gonna put my Asian style beef strips in here. You just put this in there by itself. Yeah. See, I got two. I got this and fried rice. I'm sure you can fit both in there. I just so, added the one. Yeah, my, my, uh, this is really going to mess up my digestive system here, but we're going to give it a, we're going to give it a shot. So we're going to, I'm going to slide both of mine in there, which you can. Normally, you'd eat these cold, man. Seriously. I eat them cold because, um, your body has to burn more calories. When you eat cold food, sometimes, but I ate a couple ones that I feel like heated up in the microwave and they're uh -huh. not that bad. Um, so, on this, it, 
chicken noodle vegetable. You fill one. up the water to the water line here on the bag. Do not overfill, trust me, because it'll stink. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill this up. I got the window open over here. We're gonna set our stuff over here. And if you read the directions, um, vapors can be activated by the heater contain hydrogen, a flammable gas. Do not place open flame near the vapor. Vapors activated can disperse, can displace oxygen. When one or more heaters are used inside our vehicle or shelter, ensure ventilation systems to operate the top hatch is open. Hot water leakage can burn or cause cold or cold weather injury. Um, so cold basically, yeah, injury, you remove this, you pour this in here, and you wait. How long does it say? I'm not re I'm not wearing my contact. Thirty minutes or something? No. I'm not reading the directions, folks. I apologize. After 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to pour a little water in there. Just to the line? Just to the line, yeah. Okay. And then after that, close it up. I think you're good. A little bit more. I can already feel the heater starting to get hot. So, I'm going to place this. And this will get hot. I think I might have overfilled mine a little bit. Yep, I totally did. You can actually see the bubbles starting to work at the heater. And you can actually feel it getting hot. So we're gonna set these in the window. We're gonna pause the video in about 10 minutes. We're gonna come back and show you what this looks like. Along with the other stuff. I overfilled mine a little bit. Unless you just wanna keep going. We can pause it. It's up to you. I don't care either way. We can pause it. We'll pause it, folks, and we'll be right to, like, back. Let it. Hold on. Okay. Hey, folks. We're back. While we're letting our food heat up over here in the corner, I have decided to replace my raspberry beverage bait uh, flavored drink with um, I have an orange flavored drink. Like I told you, him and his older brother like to eat a lot of my MREs when they had a chance, and they never actually ate the whole MRE. They always snack and peace, right? So I have a lot of these extras in backpacks in the house that I like to use for little emergencies. Like if we go backpacking, I keep a backpack in the car with a change of clothes and an MRE in it. Just to be, you know, on the safe side. So Ooh. I'm Ooh. using orange beverage powder paste. I got grape. Now it's strong. Got and it. you can actually see... Nose full of powder. <laughs> turning my water orange here. The, the bags are kind of harder to do because they're like, that? they got the little end piece on there, you know? Yeah. So you gotta like fold it. So all I do is just put it on like this. What? The creep doesn't what? It's blue. That looks blue, dude. <laughs> Mine looks orange. Together we have Bronco colors. How about that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're not Denver Broncos fans by any means. Uh, I mean, I don't I grew up in Michigan. Sports, but... I grew up in Michigan and. Uh, I'm not even a Michigan. Well, yes, I am. A, I am a Lions fan. I'm sorry. I don't really like sports, but I'll watch it if somebody else is watching it. So, so you shake this up. I'm gonna tell you how this tastes. So it just literally looks blue. It, it looks not... like orange soda that went flat. This looks like the uh, blue voltage Mountain Dew. Huh. All right. Salute. Mine tastes like flat Fanta. I don't even know how to describe the taste of this. It just tastes like grape and it's gross. But well, we're letting our, our food heat up. I think it's got about nine more minutes. I got a Tootsie Roll. I'm going to save a Tootsie Roll for your mom because I know okay. she likes them. And I'm going to give one to your sister. Nut she raisins. She's behind the table up here. She's My daughter is our little director. She's got little scripts for us. and <laughs> So she's holding them up to make sure we follow the words. It's all fun here. This is just all fun. Uh, so I'm over my wheat snack bread. I got the crackers and peanut butter. Yeah, I didn't. I tried that because I had it with one. And it always fall. breaks. Yeah. Man. The crackers always break too. So <laughs> don't worry. I had one soldier come out to me when I was down in the field, and he thought this was a package of gum. I kid you not. It, on big, bright blue letters, it says, do not eat, and he was going to tear that puppy open and eat it. Ooh, so, I am going to try the blackberry jam. Yum, yum. Hang on, Tessa. 
I just like the peanut butter. I like to squish it in the middle and mix it up because you never know. Now, MREs usually have a shelf life of about five years, and there is a date on the box. I'll try the uh, Most military uses, uh, what is it, the day, month, then the year format. Something. Where we use month, month. day, year. Yeah. And, you know. There's like the hundredth day of They use uh, like the Julian date, too. Yeah. So. so what is this, nut raisin mix? If only I had M&M's. Okay, blackberry jam. Here we go. I think this just has peanuts, yeah. raisins, and almonds. Ooh. Oh my gosh! No, I'm just kidding. One almond? No. I don't. Actually, just the jam and bread is really not bad. I mean, a lot of guys will trade these things. I've seen them trade in the field. You got wheat snack bread? Yeah. I'll trade you, like, back in the old days, you used to have the John Wayne bar, the chocolate-covered cookie we called the John Wayne bar. I'll trade you my John Wayne bar for the other piece of snack bread. And you take the snack bread, and you get, like, the pork barbecue patty meal, and you take the two pieces of bread and make a sandwich. You can do that. Um, got walnuts, too. There was one time... We got, we're pulling a practical joke on our commander one time downrange. And like I said, um, do not do as I say. This is only a joke. Um, we, we filled one of these up with water with an MRE heater. And we poured the pepper sauce in there. Oh. And it makes like your own CS grenade. And threw it in his tent when he was sleeping. <laughs> it was his birthday. What do you expect? We wanted fireworks. That was the closest we could come. <laughs> he, he, he thought it was a pretty funny joke. And he was a real good sport about it. But he got us back later. So, you know. Blackberry jam is actually not pretty bad. And there's our lights dimming again. These taste like really chewy for peanuts and hazelnuts and whatnot. They're just like... Well, they're designed all the moisture vacuum yeah. sealed. Guys, what I don't eat here today, I have an entire backpack full of main entrees. And basically, pouches. the stuff that we didn't eat. So. Like this here? Blech. This is another great beverage powder base. This is a chocolate pudding dessert. Also this packaged. is a package of MREs from one of the Totom meals. Don't Except it's, you know, Gardens of the Galaxy. You can I have, yeah, that one's been in there a while. Um, let me see what else we got. I've got orange flavored drink, lemon lime, all this stuff in here. And that's just the snack part. If I open up this other part, I have entree after entree that these guys would not eat. You know, like um, pretzels. Let me show you an entree in here that these guys wouldn't eat. Let me grab one out of here real quick. This one is a chili and macaroni. Let me just slide it out. Now, I saved these... Like I said, I got these in an emergency bag. This is a wouldn't really be considered a 72-hour bag because I think only me and him will eat MREs in the family. My wife and daughter and my younger son probably won't. My older son will, but he's he's uh not he's, in the country right now. He's out. He's not in the country. He's serving a mission right now, so he's eating other stuff. How long has that timer been? About four minutes out. About four minutes there. All right. So four minutes, forty seconds left. Mine looks like it's already just... Yeah, I had mine ventilating outside, so when you open yours up, make sure it goes outside, because that's like hydrogen gas. Oh, fun. Don't get in the house. <laughs> All right, let's open up these crackers. I usually eat the crackers <sighs> with the peanut butter. Oh, why'd that get blurry? There it goes. I shook my head and it blurred. Oh. I'm still eating my blackberry jam. Oh, well, I always do the crackers with the peanut butter, and actually it's not that bad. But... They have jalapeno cheese, too. Yeah... And that other meal the that I was going to eat. cheese one doesn't taste too good, though. That other meal is sitting on the chair or something over there that I had. Yeah. That has a pepper jack cheese in it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to get these open because they'll just break instantly as soon as you open it. This one didn't, luckily. And then, I, like what he said, I'll usually, like, this is the peanut butter and I'll just kind of do this to 
get it all mixed around. That way everything's good to go. I think it even says it on here. Yes. Need package before opening. So. Oh, we all know who's been in the military know that peanut butter the oil will separate over time. True story. I've had guys use the oil from the peanut butter and cheese to actually start a campfire yeah, that had been cold, separated from their unit. You told me one. They'd take the uh, the wooden crate, the wire bomb box after ammunition came oh, in and yeah. it's empty. They'll bust that box, use the oil. Sometimes MRE packages that come in this have matches. Where are the um, scissors? Do we leave those outside or do we bring them back in? Uh, they're back inside. Now I'm going to show you different packages. Like, you guys see me, this is what my son got. He got um, this package here, which is toilet paper, Splenda, creamer, coffee, the red gum. Um, this is another one that I have. And if you look right there, there is a little book of gopher matches. These matches are pretty good as long as you don't let the oxygen get to them. Excuse me. As long as you don't let the oxygen get to them, they're fine. So, <laughs> yeah, it's really neato. But there are different packages from MREs that have different things. Some have matches, some don't. Let's get that open. It's usually annoying. I'm going to finish eating this bread. Yeah. This is like lunch for me. A late lunch. It's almost like, what, four? Well, I mean, I was thinking about ordering a pizza, but now that I'm eating this... It's okay. almost dinner time. It's alright, though. We're eating with Grandma tonight. I know. We eat there last Yay! night. <laughs> Labor Day weekend. We eat with family. We have fun. Sometimes we do extravagant things. Sometimes it's just a simple barbecue. Sometimes it's just, hey, let's go get tacos. Tacos, Tuesday. So, there's that. Sorry, Pistol. We're Sorry. about a minute out. Minute 30. And this video is still rolling on about 22 minutes. Oh, jeez. Um, That's going to be a long video. It's going to take a long time to upload. What? That's okay. Until dinner time. If we upload this video to my channel, yeah. it'll be the longest video I've ever uploaded. Yep, I do. Mm. Seed from a Blackberry. I'm done. <laughs> he doesn't like anything berries, so we're gonna eat that. Not true. Blackberries I like. Raspberries I do not like because raspberries and strawberries to me, any raspberry or strawberry jam or beverage smells like sour milk to me. I just can't get over the smell. I don't know why. So I'm not gonna eat my chunky peanut butter. I'm gonna put that back in the duffel bag over here, and we will divide that up. Duffel bag is like, got a doctor's appointment, I'll grab a snack or something. I, in the wintertime, especially here in Colorado, <laughs> try to keep something in the car. You may not like it, but it's going to be food. So, there you go. There's my survival tip. Now, uh, I know I'm no longer in the military. I have friends. I work for uh, a guy who, who, could, who would get these very often and he you know once they're assigned to him if you don't give them back you know i don't know what they do but he's like here have some probably just waste them. but you can go to the commissary at the local army post here and you can buy them by the single meal like this oh, or you can buy an entire case which is like what 12 meals all right so Those now let's uh get these here real quick i'm gonna squeeze yours so the stuff goes out Here's yours. Tessa, can you go get us a towel, please? And it does, mine is hot. It does <coughs> somewhat stink. Don't smell it, Ooh. please. I had to smell this to know. Thank you. So what I would do, I would That's wipe hot. this off before you eat it. Because that oxygen... When you're done with that, give me your thing. <laughs> Here. Oh, no, yeah, we'll let that vent out the window. It's a bad smell. Don't now, spoil the house. This, I would suggest wiping down your entire package because it was chemically heated. It's not heated all the way through, but it's warm enough. 
you know, mine. Now, what I'm going to tell you is what I like to do when I was in the military. Take that moist towelette in your packet, tear it open. You can use it for your hands or your face or whatever. But if you think about it, you're going to be handling this package and other food if you're eating. And this just was chemically heated by a chemical substance. So I like to wipe this clean. And then wipe it off. Don't worry about the trash test. So we'll no. get it afterwards. So, now, with that being said, on the MREs you do have a notch. Depending on what MRE you get, it's usually at the top. This one is Asian beef strips. Oh, that's actually hot. This is actually at the sides. <laughs> And this one is at the sides. <coughs> so, kind of shake mine like this. Go like this. Shake mine like this. It's like hot in one area. Right, so it just feel cold. Okay. How do you say you shaked it? Just like that. Uh, pull the spoon out. It actually smells like those mo choy chicken chow mein things we used to make. Uh, oh, you guys can see that down in there. This is just the Asian beef with strip with beef strips. And it's not bad. Like if I eat this now, I'm probably not gonna eat dinner. That's what this one looks like. I've actually had the one you have. Yeah. And I've eaten it cold. Really? I, I in the military, I always ate all mine cold. Mm -hmm. I always save the MRE heaters for other things. Yeah. Tastes weird. And wouldn't you know? I just spilled some right on my shirt. I mean, <laughs> mine, mine still tastes cold. So. Just can't take me anywhere nice. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> So now, except that one, that one is heated. Let's try the rice. The rice wasn't cooked very warm. That's okay. Oh, that's fried rice. It does not look. Ew. Ew. I think our viewers want to see that. I, I don't. I wouldn't want to eat that if I was you. That's the fried rice. For you guys, I'll do it. Oh man, come on. Oh please. What? You have digestive problems and you're eating rice? You betcha. Just for you guys. That's how much I love my viewers, man. Mm -hmm. Now this actually tastes gross. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually dry. <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> it tastes like I'm eating. Garlic flavored sawdust. But you gotta keep eating it? I can't stop. I know. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. There's the MRE meals. And uh, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell button, and um, leave a comment, yeah. questions below. I read all my comments and questions and I answer back. And if you